finally clear gay for Kyangel with ease. Let's get into this. What I'm going to do is give you my biggest tip at each one of the major mechanic points during this gate, as well as a couple of big tips so you can do more damage through the rest of the fight. And if you can't quite get to Kyangale normal or hard mode yet, then make sure and check out the video I just made on leveling quicker and check out the video I made on what to spend your gold on to gain power in the most efficient way. At the 180 line mechanic, he is going to become invulnerable and he will send down three different types of attacks to try to kill you. Now, it is in your best interest to spread apart. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people die to this mechanic because they're just running around like crazy little ants trying to survive. Split up, do times three plus one or times three, whatever it is, so that you are segregated. Also, for the second attack, make sure that you are not on the farthest part of the outside of the map because many times he will do an attack where the safe spot is much farther inside and it makes it difficult to get to if you're all the way on the outer part so kind of stay somewhere in the middle at the 140 line mechanic where you have to beam the light to each other and then eventually you will stagger him the best thing that you can do for yourself is to not look at the boss because you will be blinded. So if you keep getting blinded and you're not sure why, it's because you're not looking towards the outside of the map. So make sure you're looking towards the outside until it is your turn to direct the light to the next person. Make sure that you put the light a little bit in front of the next person so that they can run up to the light because it can be difficult on some classes when you're auto attacking because you consistently move forward for the 100 line mech you will go to the center and then you will have to collect five of the white orbs you'll have to memorize them because they will go back to being clear one of the biggest mistakes that i've seen in a lot of the prog parties that i was in was that they kind of just come into your quadrant and steal one or two of yours and then kind of go on the rest of their quadrant and they get five and then you're left with three or four because they actually kind of veered off into your quadrant and it makes it kind of difficult for you to get five if that's happening so make sure to stay in your own quadrant number one and then number two the next tip that i can offer you is to make sure that if you spot other white orbs after you've already gotten your five to mark them or target them with the cursor so that whoever didn't get five can go and get their fifth one and you don't have to worry about anyone wiping at this mech because at the end of the day the most important thing in this gate is that everyone survives until 60 lines at the 60 line mech i have seen so many prog parties that i've been in they will see some of the statues with symbols on the 10 or 11 position so they will ping those and then start running counter clockwise do not do this. Always run clockwise, it makes it easier for everyone. Or if your group wants to run counterclockwise, then go ahead and make sure everyone knows to run counterclockwise. But most of the parties that I've been in that have cleared, we all ran clockwise. So even if there are some at the 10 or 11 or nine position that you see, don't even worry about pinging them. Just run clockwise and ping in that direction. Also, as players are running around clockwise and they have to stagger their statue, that means they're staggering their statue. So they're not gonna be pinging for the next few times until they catch up and they might never catch up. So even if you don't see three other pings at a certain statue, one or two pings is enough for you to stagger that statue. So if you see one or two pings at one of your statues, then make sure and stagger it because it's probably just someone else lagging behind and that's why they're not pinging it. And the biggest tip after 60 lines that I can give you is that if you are not 100% confident with managing the pushing part of the mechanic whenever you're trying to hide in the shade then just go ahead and time stop the mechanic if you have any time stops left because the longer you're alive the better chance that you have of clearing this gate another little tip that i can give you is after you see the purple text that says intense gaze and the blast is about to happen where it goes and it actually starts inflicting damage you can space bar 
and you will not even get pushed. You will not have to worry about that. So you just need to keep running in the shade and you'll be just fine. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult because maybe you don't have your space bar up or whatever it may be. So you still need to constantly be holding the cursor in the proper direction towards the outside of the wall. So when you do get pushed, you stay running in the right direction and you stay in the shade. Another big tip is after 60 lines, whenever he starts doing increased damage, when he does the mechanic where he releases a bunch of orbs and every time one touches you, it binds you, try to avoid all of these orbs. Unless your support has their awakening up plus other shield skills, then it's gonna be okay to go ahead and use the typical flame grenade technique to bust you out of those binds once he initiates the bind. But if your support's awakening is not up, or maybe you're playing with a public group and y'all aren't communicating in Discord or something like that, then it's best to avoid all of them as best possible. That way you don't take massive damage and all die. Now, a couple of other general tips that are gonna help you clear gate four. The biggest one being do not grief for damage. It's just not worth it, guys, to get off one additional skill or two additional skills. In general, is to stay behind the boss. Most of the time, somewhere in the area behind him is going to be safe regardless of the mechanic that he's doing. And my final tip that is gonna help you do more DPS throughout the raid is whenever one of your party mates has a crosshair on them, a white target, make sure that that character is running around in front of the boss. Try to stay in front of him, moving side to side, whatever you wanna do, but don't be running around him in a circle because not only is this going to likely do massive damage to your party when he does finally attack, because they're not gonna be prepared. It is also going to cancel out a massive damage opportunity window for the rest of your team. If any of these tips helped you out, then please let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you've already cleared Kyangel Gate 4 and there's a tip that you wanna give to everyone else, make sure and comment it down below. You can help someone clear. But that is the end of this video. And make sure and let me know if you like this style of video because I would love to make a couple of extra videos for Kyangel and other raids in the future with little tips that helped me to clear, especially when progging with a public group and not your static. So make sure and subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep seeing Lost Art content and consider joining the Discord. We have skin presets, we do fun runs for raids, we do all kinds of fun stuff over there, and it's a cool, chill place to hang out. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next video.